Hi everyone, welcome to Apex TV brought to you by ZF. We are here talking advocacy with Lee Marino and Aaron Lowe. Aaron is with Auto Care Association, Lee with MEMA, and we're talking about access to data. A lot of consumers don't even know that they don't have the right to their data. So tell me first of all, Lee, what these two associations are doing to raise awareness. Sure, so we are working with Auto Care on a partnership with ASA called Your Car, Your Data, Your Choice. And it's a really critical campaign for us because for top of mind issues in the industry, we want to make sure that consumers and the industry are both aware that the access to vehicle data is critical for their uh, maintenance and repair needs. And give me a little bit of insight into this campaign. What, what are you trying to do to raise that awareness? Sure, so we have launched a, a website called yourcaryourdata.org and we're really encouraging uh, folks from industry and consumers to go ahead and sign the petition and raise awareness and learn more about uh, what their uh, rights are. That sounds like a great partnership and I know that you guys are also doing a lot of work behind the scenes on Capitol Hill and on the state level, right Erin? We have a two-pronged effort actually, both the state of Massachusetts and in Congress. In Massachusetts, I think a lot of people remember, we passed the right to repair law back in 2012. And that passed in a ballot measure by an 86 to 14 percent margin, which is huge. So we've gone back to Massachusetts to amend that right to repair law to ensure that car owners have access to their data and that they can have their data sent to whomever they want to repair their car. So it's critical to have that access to data and for them to have control of it. So it's both knowledge and control. And then we have an effort on Capitol Hill where we're attempting to pass legislation that would assure those rights. So we're, we're really taking it from both angles. Um, we're hopeful the Massachusetts effort, the ballot measure would appear on the 2020 ballot, um, although the state legislature could, act, could take action in between and pass it on their own. Congress could take a little longer because things are moving, as a lot of people know, slowly in Congress this year. But we're, we have a very broad coalition that's supporting it. I think we, um, we're hopeful that we're gonna be successful. And as you guys are working hard, people here at Apex and in the automotive aftermarket industry as professionals, what can they do to help your efforts? Well, the biggest thing they can do is, first of all, make sure they're informed on what telematics is and how it's gonna affect their business. Second, they can inform their customers. So repair shops need to let their customer and, and the retailers and parts distributors need to let their customers know about this issue because it, it's going to impact their ability to choose where they get their vehicles repaired. So you can actually go right to yourcaryourdata.org and, and sign that petition and we're really encouraging people to do that uh, so we can raise as many voices to the issue as possible. That's great. Well, thank you both um, on behalf of your associations for doing all the great work that you do for the consumer, for the automotive professional. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. So we really appreciate it. Thank you. Right, thanks. thanks so much, guys, for watching Apex TV.